Hello. Hey, everybody. Hi. It's Dr. Meg Hayworth here. I'm going to talk about avocados and choosing a perfect avocado to start with. And then we'll talk about using them in desserts. What? Desserts? I thought they were just for guacamole. Anyway, um, all right, I'm going to flip the camera around and, uh, all right. Choosing an avocado. Uh, hey, try not to make any of you motion sick with my moving of the camera so much. <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Dr. Meg Hayworth, and I'm a holistic psychologist, nutrition strategist, and private celebrity chef. Um, I have a coaching program called Get Well Soon to help people with chronic illness heal themselves with food and the power of the mind. And I also have a, uh, uh, another coaching program uh, where it's just the food, where I can work with you directly with a diet plan that will work just for you, your food allergies, tailored to your needs, your likes, your dislikes, exact same treatment I give my celebrity chef clients, I can give to you one-on-one. -on -one. So um, meghayworth.com if you want to read more about that. But let's get on to avocados. Okay, this is really important stuff. So choosing a good avocado. All right, so I have these avocados here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this avocado is ripe and ready, and the, one of the best ways to, to figure out if it is ready um, is when you squeeze it, it has a little bit of give, but not a lot of give. Um, this is really important uh, because uh, I know I was raised to think avocados needed to be really, really soft, and they would always have these brown spots in them, and it was like gross. Um, but I'm not from California. I've lived here for 13 years, and so now I've learned better. <laughs> so, um, avocados. Okay, so here, I want to show you this thing here. Uh, wait, can you see it? Yeah. All right, so there's a stem, and when you remove that stem, see how green and pretty that is? All right, so the little stem should come out very easily, and it should be nice and green and pretty like that when you remove the stem. So, and then when you slice into the avocado, and I did this a few minutes ago, so it might have started oxidizing already, but it should look like that. Just a nice, pretty green avocado. Avocados are uh, a fruit. They are not a vegetable, contrary to popular belief, but they are so healthy for you, so good. High in mono unsaturated fats. Um, those are the good fats, the kind of fats our body needs, our, especially our brain needs them. Um, we have seen a huge decline in the IQ of the American people. 15 points decline over the last, I think it's 30, 50 years. And a lot of it has been the food supply and what people have been eating. We were told for a long time, don't eat avocados because they'll make you fat. And it's just simply not the truth. I mean, if you're eating avocados with, like, you know, chips all the time, Eh. and margaritas, eh. not such a good idea. And that's how most of us eat them. So I wanna give you some healthy options. So one thing I do is I put avocado on my smoothie because it makes it really smooth and wonderful. So um, it makes it really delicious. And thanks for all the hearts, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, yay, so happy to have everybody on here. Uh, okay, so avocados, uh, high in monounsaturated fats. Gotta have that for brain health. Uh, they're high in potassium, they're high in, in vitamin C, and uh, they are super yummy and good for us. And so I wanted to give you, uh, besides smoothies, one thing that I do is I make, um, well, I love to put this in like everything. It's crazy. Raw cacao is raw chocolate. Um, it's the raw form of chocolate before uh, they would heat it. Um, and it's the heated co cocoa that we use in most recipes, uh, it's, it's actually been heated and it changes the structure of the chocolate. Um, it's very high in, in antioxidant properties, which means it helps you process through those cancer cells that all of us get. Okay, all of us get cancer cells and we process them through our bodies when our bodies are healthy. Our immune system helps to fight them off and get rid of them. So unless you know, you have a lot of carcinogens in your body and then they might collect somewhere and then you end up with a cancer tumor. So a lot of people don't know this. That's really important stuff to know about. 
So, um, okay, so cacao, I'm gonna use this when with the avocado in a blender, and I'm gonna put some almond milk. I use uh, this particular brand specifically because it is both organic and it does not contain carrageenan, or carrageenan, I'm not sure how to say it exactly, but I do know it's been linked with colon cancer. It's a uh, thickener that they use in a lot of things. Um, so I use uh, stevia, this particular brand, Sweet Leaf Stevia, is uh, one of the best, best brands out there on the market today. Um, so I use that to sweeten that. Now you can put some uh, uh, coconut oil in your, uh, um, in your pudding too, because I'm talking about making this pudding with the cacao, the um, avocado, the almond milk, and the stevia. Now, personally, I am not crazy about the stevia sweetening this particular pudding, and so sometimes I'll um, put a, like just a teaspoon of honey and add to it, and it's really, really good. Um, so some people use agave nectar, some people use uh, coconut sugar or coconut uh, syrup, and those are other uh, good possibilities to use. Uh, so uh, let's see what else do I want to tell you about avocados. Um, besides, they're really good for you. I eat them every day, um, usually about a half an avocado a day, and they're definitely not making me fat. So <laughs> I gotta say, um, so that's one of the the problems with the, the fat-free craze that we had, and um, been telling us that fats were bad for us, and they told us this for a very, very long time. And one of the problems. Uh, um, has to do with the low fat craze and what low fat really means typically is high sugar because they put sugar in it to try to make up for the flavor that the fat brings to whatever it is. So even milk for instance, it's not, um, uh, it's not, you should do whole milk if you're going to do milk but I don't even recommend that. That's another periscope for another day. Um, okay, so anyway, anybody have any questions about avocados? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone love avocados? They're really good. All right, so if you want to learn more about the work that I do in any way that I can help you, I have, oh wait, I have a yes there. Somebody just said yes. Okay, I'm going to have to put on my glasses. <gasps> oh, look how studious I look. Love avocados, yay. Sarah Sophia, <laughs> okay, awesome. Yay, they are so good, right? Oh my god, I use them every, like I said, every day. Um, oh, I made this avocado mousse. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, instead of using almond milk, I used coconut milk in the can. Um, and it made it much more light and fluffy. So it made it much more, uh, give, it gave it a mousse-like consistency. It was really good. Um, and then sometimes with that chocolate pudding, I'll add in almond butter. Hello. Oh, deliciousness. <laughs> anyway, um, if you want to join me in my group, I have a fantastic group on Facebook called Get Well Soon, and it's for people that are interested in getting well, staying well, um, and preventing illness. So uh, please look me up on Facebook. You can find me under Dr. Meg Hayworth is my fan page. Meg Hayworth is my personal page. And then uh, the... Uh, uh, Get Well Soon is my group, and it's a lot of fun. We have some really, really cool people, very smart people, and who offer a lot of great information. So, oh wait, I'm missing this question. What else? What color? Mm. Oh, that really isn't important for anyone to know. Um, okay. Ah, I do. I live near you. Yeah, I'm in LA. Um, I do see people um, a lot of times I do most of my coaching with people all over the world on Skype. Um, uh, so, but anyway, uh, message me and we'll see if we can uh, get connected and, and see what I can do to help you. Uh, what else was in your mousse? Oh, yeah. Um, so in, in the mousse that I made, so it was the coconut milk in the can because it's much creamier. You could even use coconut cream. That would be really good. Avocado, cacao, uh, Stevia, um, or you could use whatever kind of sweetener you'd like to do. So, okay, great. Oh, okay, I look forward to hearing from you. Great. Um, so, uh, you can use whatever uh, sweetener you want to use in it. 
Um, I don't recommend using sugar, uh, any cane sugar, for a lot of reasons, but one of the main ones for this recipe is that the cane sugar will just bring down the recipe. It'll, it'll um, add weight to it, um, so it won't be as good as a liquidy kind of. What about coconut oil? Yes, absolutely. You can add coconut oil into that pudding, and you can add coconut oil into the mousse. Um, and then uh, the coconut oil also is high in monounsaturated fats. Um, it also is an antibacterial, antimicrobial, microbial, so it will uh, get rid of some uh, uh, crap. And I received, I had a phone call come in <laughs> while I was on Periscope. <laughs> anyway, it's so great to have you all on here. Um, and I look forward to hearing from any of you. Please private message me. I love to talk to people. I love to help people. So um, just private message me on Facebook. And um, again, my website is meghayworth.com, M-E-G-H-A-W-O-R-T-H.com. And thanks so much for listening. All right, bye.